Okay, game. Okay. So, hello again, junkies. Picking up from our first episode, I invited Colin, the founder of MarketingMaster.io, to tell us more about Marketing Master in this episode. So, if you're new to LTD or Lifetime Deals and have just tuned into the show, think of it this way. Software used to be bought at a one-time price until companies have started their subscription prices to access this software. So, LTDs are usually software-as-a-service platforms offered at a one-time price for our consumers. So, hey, Colin. Glad you could join the show. Thank you for inviting me. It's an honor. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll ask you a few questions. Huh? Sure. All right. So, first question is, why did you build Marketing Master? Any challenges that you saw? Uh to build well, Marketing Master? Previously, uh, I was really into digital marketing and um, I was using multiple tools to build my business. So before I needed a chatbot, I subscribed to ManyChat. I needed an e-commerce store, so I went for um, Shopify or WooCommerce. I, I have tried both. And when I wanted to send mass emails or sequence of emails, I subscribed to another platform, which is MailChimp. And when I wanted to send text messages, I also subscribed to another platform. So it's a lot of learning curve that you need to uh, that you need to really spend time. And each platform works different from each other. So. Um, for a newbie that gets into digital digital marketing, it, it was it was really a hassle. Um, so, come um, Marketing Master IO, uh, I was able to um, find a way to to create a platform that would integrate all of them. So the purpose here is for an average entrepreneur or for a newbie. Um, who don't want to spend a lot of time um, um, learning different platforms, but also have the same functionality and the um, the needed needed functions to create a a a, 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 a business a cohesive uh, campaign for um, for online marketing. So that's the that's the goal. So here in the Philippines, um, since the Philippines is really my, currently my largest market, right. um, it was really built for my fellow countrymen because not all of, of I mean, I mean um, only a small percentage of Filipinos are starting in digital marketing. And um, with a lot of tools out there, it would be very hard for, for an average entrepreneur, what, what we call them, entrepreneur. <laughs> Pinoy is a term for Filipino, so entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur, a Filipino entrepreneur, we call them entrepreneur. So yeah. an average entrepreneur, would, it would be very hard for them to get started because uh, you would have to subscribe and learn and not to mention the the, the money that you would spend and the time learning. But with Marketing Master IO, you'd be able to get a hold of the tools that's needed for online business. Example, for e-commerce, you can easily build that in just one click. For chatbot marketing, you don't need to subscribe to any other chat the platform. It's built in. For email and SMS, it's already there. For WhatsApp automation, it's already there. Um, the learning curve is pretty much um, from, from a high speed learning curve it would be uh, not not uh not as hard as before where, where you would learn each different platform but now um you would only log into one platform and all of the needed things that you uh, uh for online marketing to get your business up and running it's already there so um i think that's a pretty good solution for entrepreneurs and hopefully um once uh um, I believe it's not only uh, applicable for here in the Philippines because there are a lot of people out there who is not technical and don't want right. to spend a lot of time learning a lot of different platforms. Um, I believe this would be helpful for them as well. Right. So what a really, really long journey that you have with the Marketing Master. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it has already helped a lot of uh, entrepreneurs. <laughs> Yeah, we we'll call them. Yeah, yeah. So with all these features of Marketing Master, so 
um, I guess if you were to select only one feature of the many, many features of MMIO, what do you love building the most? Uh, it would be the chatbot platform right. uh, because it's currently the most used uh, of our feature. Um, it's also the most, um, uh, I mean, the, the the platform that updates the most because recently, uh, if you don't know, um, Zuckerberg just announced that WhatsApp is opening for 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 public. Yeah, just uh, yesterday. <laughs> just a few hours. Yeah, so yeah. Every yeah. year, I can say that in every year, there's two or three major updates for those platforms. And if you don't um, spend the time to get get um, to to really uh, get in touch with the updates, uh, you'd be left behind. So right. that's why. I, well, it's it's really also um, the way the way it was built. Marketing master I chatbot. It, it well, the way it was built is uh, it makes us easier to uh, adapt um, technologies because Facebook when they when they um, launch a tech or, or a new API. Um, the structure is basically the same. Um, right. the, the the requirements would have the same. Um, the concept would be the same as before. So it's easier to develop. Um, as compared to when when we develop um, the the Google My Business messages, it's right. totally different from built by Google. So you can really see uh, the culture and the. The way the way both companies develop API, it's really really different. So um, since since chatbot with uh, Facebook with WhatsApp Messenger Instagram, um, uh, we have been used to that. So um, that's why it's it's really a um, a joy to develop that uh, feature. Right. Yeah. So actually, I know a lot of users of your chatbot platform. Uh, that's why I, I featured it in the first episode. <laughs> so, uh, given all these features, so MMIO is like an all-in-one solution for any online business, no? So, where do you see the future of MMIO lies? Uh, oh, um, the way we are now is we always uh, ride with the tide. So, whenever there's new update, we we uh, we try we try our best to. Um, to make it up and running as soon as we can. So, given with the recent updates, we believe that in the future, um, given with the updates that um, um, Facebook and Meta business is going, um, we would have a more um, integrated platform that works well with Meta, and, uh, especially now that we now have uh, a partner access with Meta, we are we are certified uh, partner. So we were we are now able to access more resources, and tools, and direct access to the team, uh, Facebook. So um, not not just a few few years, but maybe um, even in, in a few months, I, I believe we'll be get we will get up to date and running with uh, latest Facebook uh, trend, and uh, and for the future. Um, we are planning to integrate more platforms like Telegram and uh, um, Telegram Bot and WeChat. So we are aiming for that as well. But for WeChat, I think that would be later on 2023, right. maybe, but not this year. For Telegram, it's possible that we can integrate that this year. Right. How about Viver? <laughs> Is it already? Um, not yet. Not, not yet. on the road, not okay. for now. Um, right. The... Right. the the those two are uh, what's on the roadmap: Telegram for this year, WeChat for next year, and maybe if uh, if we were able to develop WeChat um, ahead of schedule, uh, we are going to explore more about other for other platforms as well. Okay, so there's really a, a bright future for MMIO. <laughs> yes. So I guess for your existing customers, this next question would be somehow a uh, a future to look at. So which features are you going to build or improve next? 
Oh, um, let's group it into two. Um, the the um, let's say the short term and the long term. For the short term, we are going to uh, uh, prioritize uh, the both two things. Um, first is the integration, direct integration of WhatsApp Business API, so that we don't have to subscribe to 360 Dialog or any other third-party platform just to get uh, WhatsApp Business. So, uh, as I have said earlier, the goal really of Marketing Master I is to make it easier for businesses to use the tools or integrate with needed online tools. Uh, um, currently, we don't have a, a, a choice but to subscribe to diff a different platform to use another platform. So, it's right. well, it's it's not really the goal of MMIO in the first place because we wanted uh, people to really get all that, uh, the, the tools that they needed without having to log into uh, create uh, accounts from other. So um, with this um, with this development by Facebook, um, we are going to hopefully uh, we are going to be approved to uh, fa faster uh, how to uh, by integrating WhatsApp Business API because you you would have to submit approval after you're building it up you would need to submit it. Uh, for approval to Facebook, so if they, if we were able to develop it faster, uh, hopefully, uh, there's no. I mean, what I'm seeing right now is the approval times of WhatsApp would be longer, longer. because it's you, a lot of people would be coming in, a lot of apps right. would be asked for review. So I really believe it'd be longer to approve. So for for the development, we we already have our own WhatsApp um, chatbot. Um, for the integration, what's needed to develop to be developed now is how we can catch your catch your WhatsApp business account, where we will automatically create it for you. We will automatically register your number, just like what 360 dialog dialog does. So that's what needs to be developed. But uh, once that's developed, um, the next hurdle would be the approval times of Facebook. So hopefully, it will be faster. Right. And also, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and that's for the short term. <laughs> the term, another short term would be um, the uh, recurring notifications by Messenger and Instagram. So the recurring not notification is more powerful than one-time notification or OTN. It's currently being uh, used by uh, uh, most people doing Facebook ads. Right. Um, for 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 the rec recurring notification, what would happen is if if your subscriber subscribes to your uh, op or opts into your recurring, recurring notification, you would be able to send um, multiple notifications, let's say a daily notification. So I, I have already read the use case. So the use case is pretty, pretty good because you are allowed to send daily deals for your product. Example, they bought wow. a certain product like a beauty product from you. You can send another deal for another uh, skincare product or another cream. The next day, you can do that every day, as long as the user opts in. So the maximum number of times you can send is ten. I think ten notifications. So if you send ten products a day, that's that's quite a lot. So um, you can also you can also make it um, send weekly, meaning every week you are allowed to send one product uh, or another uh, another deal. So. It's it's really for commercial purposes. Another would be ticketing system. If you are uh, a travel and tours business, you can send uh, multiple deals to your subscriber uh, in, in a week. So it's really a powerful uh, feature. So it, um, we we just apply to the uh, list because currently it's not really available for all. You have to line up for the in the queue. Right. Um, it's what we call a uh, uh, bet. Beta, li beta list. You have to register in that. Once we are approved, we would go full, full, full force ahead to develop the um, recurring notification because this is very, very, very powerful. So that's the short term. Another short term would be um, live chat to to gather all uh, platforms in one live chat. So we currently only support four, but in the future we'll be adding more. So support for WhatsApp live chat, for Messenger bot and Instagram and Google My Business messages. So those four platforms would be gathered into one interface and you'd be able to assign team members or go round robin uh, for, for uh, where you get, you get automatically assigned messages 
to each of your team member. I believe that's a very helpful feature. Another thing would be uh, message grant template. That's what, that's what we are planning to call it, where you can create a template. Example, um, you can you have you have already created an e-commerce store, a chatbot for Instagram, a chatbot for um, for for Messenger. You have already built an email marketing campaign or a, a, an email sequence. All, all of that is in place. So you can bundle that up. Once that's bundled, you can share that or duplicate that to another MMIO account. So um, that's useful, for example, for, for a team agency, or, for, yeah. or, or an agency right. where they build uh, this, this, this template. And then once a customer comes in, they would just um, deploy the template and then change the variables. So uh, that's another thing. We're hoping to really uh, release that within the year. So um, for the longer term, a longer goal would be, um, yeah, integration with Telegram and WeChat. Right. So that's a lot of new features, improvements that... Uh, we are going to be very, very yeah. busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could just imagine the roadmap that you have right now. <laughs> yeah. So I guess uh, one last question. Um, I guess this is the million dollar question. Huh? So why launch a lifetime deal? So as I've said earlier, our current market is in the Philippines. So it's really hard to reach abroad. Currently, I mean, reach other uh, people from uh, other users from other countries. So the only, the only way you can do that is to really spend a lot in ads. We have already done that, spent a lot in ads with um, pretty li little return. So um, with, there's, there's a, um, another way so that we can reach uh, those market and it's working already, which is, yeah, launching lifetime deals. So um, the lifetime deal that we have um, launched did not really affect our current MMR, MRR because we launched it secretly. Um, right. We did not even <laughs> um, let the world or make our users or we didn't even send emails or banners or we, do, we did not let, let anybody know. We just wanted it to be discreet because our, our goal really is to um, have users that is not um, to, to, to reach out to other users from other other part of the world that I believe would be helpful for them. So um, I think another way to help users, I mean to help uh, to, to get users from other users uh, from from other part of the country is by what we, uh, by the white label by white labeling our product, and then right. um, each each user from different countries would be able to market their product. MMIO to their country and in that way we can reach people we, we, we would have them using the software so the, the one way we can monetize that is to charge per user right. so um, that's why yeah a white labeling feature for MMIO is pretty pretty helpful to reach uh, more market than we can ever reach by just doing it ourselves yep yep agree so I'm actually a fan of the white label feature. <laughs> okay. So thank you. thank thank you, Colin. Thank you, Colin, for your time and being my actually my first guest to the show. So Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so there you have it, junkies. So if you'd like to know more about Marketing Master, you can just visit their website at marketingmaster.io. And they have a limited time offer for a lifetime deal running right now on AppSumo. Uh, the link is in the description below. So, once again, thanks, Colin, and see you. See you in the store. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.